A principle of conscious creation is the principle of least resistance. I first heard about this and learned this from Robert Fritz and it's such an important and useful distinction. Energy will always flow along the path of least resistance and, and you know this, if you pour water uh, down a hill it will, it will go and if there's things in the way it will go around it. If there is a, a stream it's going to flow in the way of least resistance so if it slopes one way that's the way it will go down. Now this is true for humans, we're actually energy and we will always flow along the path of least resistance. In fact, if you go to Boston, you will see that all the streets are all over the place and, and the reason is, is a long time ago when there was just cattle or bison that were grazing those plains, they went a certain way. And if there was a rock in the way, they just went around it. If there was a hill in the way, they went around. They, they simply, if there was things in the way, they just went around. They created the tracks. And so then other animals would follow those tracks because that was the least resistant way. And then as humans came, humans followed those same tracks and humans then expanded maybe with horses and then horse and cart and then roads. The roads are simply on the exact same tracks that these cattle were on thousands of years ago. Now that's just mind blowing, but it shows you the point that we always take the path of least resistance. What's important about this with you is don't beat yourself up or let anyone beat themselves up about what action they're taking. Simply know that that is the least resistant action for that person, for that human being. So whenever I'm working with someone, I'm coaching them, or whenever I see myself or others, whatever action they're taking, in my head I just go, that is the least resistance resistant way. Somebody lies to you or somebody you know has procrastination or something, just know that they see that as least resistance. So when we're working in the superconscious method, we're always asking well, what resistance is there to just taking that action? If you remember from one of the other principles, action is inevitable. We're always taking an action and so therefore if you understand that you always take the path of least resistance and there's always an action to take, if the obvious action is to pick up the glass and drink it, if you're simply not taking the obvious action, it's not because the action is wrong, it's because there's some resistance there. Now where could this resistance come from? Resistance can come from made up beliefs, made up fears, made up emotions, past memories, traumas, family DNA patterns. It can come from many different areas. We don't need to go on some you know, witch hunt to try to find out where the resistance came from. We simply must just notice there's resistance. I'm not able to take that. I'm not able to be a confident public speaker. I'm not able to do that and I, I know what I need to do. I know how to do it, you see. Therefore, if I'm not taking the action, if I'm not doing it, there's simply something in the way. That's it. There's simply something in the way. And if I don't have that in the way, well, shouldn't I just be able to take the action if I already know that that action is going to lead to more satisfaction and less pain? Yes, of course. And so we don't have to beat a person up. There's nothing to fix about them, you see. We don't have to fix them. There's simply just something that's in the way of, of a new reality they want to create. There's nothing wrong with the reality they're in now. There's nothing wrong with who they are now. We're not trying to fix who they are. There's just something new that they desire to have. And now resistance that served them in the past is now not serving them. And that's a very important thing. All resistance is for you. See, sometimes we think that this resistance is against us, this idea of self-sabotage. Well, who's, which is the self-sabotaging the self? Like which self are you uh, going for? It's a joke that I make because the idea of self-sabotage in itself is ridiculous. You know, which is the self if the other self is sabotaging? Which one are you? See, you're both of them. See, the truth is the resistance is for you. You think, well, why would I feel fear about public speaking? Well, it's to serve the idea that I don't want to be rejected by people. So it's in service of you, you see. Well, why can't I hold on to money, Chris? Well. Let's look, oh I see, because in your history, your family member had a lot of money and then they were the ones targeted when the war came. 
And so money equal pay. Oh, well, that would be why. Useful then to create the belief to not have money. But Chris, how come I always put on weight? Well, let's have a look in your field. Oh, there's resistance to losing weight because this happened here. You see, there is always a reason that the resistance is beneficial for you. Once you can accept that and you realize you're not in this fight and that nothing's wrong, resistance is able to be cleared and it's like that there was a dam or like something blocking the flow. Once you open it, you're just able to go towards what you want. Success should be easy. It should be flowing with no struggle at all. The principle of least resistance tells us so. I'll see you on the next video.